What's up everybody? I figured I'd show you all a little quick tour around the Rackley facility out here in California. Uh, this is where we got our trailer built. And I'll just go on the outside. I'm not gonna go inside where they do all the work. Uh, I don't wanna get in their way, but here we got our trucks lined up. Most of these guys are getting ramps done. Here's mine. Uh, I flew, I drove out here, parked it, flew home for the holidays and flew back. Here's a new Peterbilt with a new dash. And you'll see they got the rear ends taken apart so they can build some ramps. <clears throat> it's all brand new stuff, obviously. They're my old junker. But uh, these are all trucks getting ramps. It's the back end of a nine axle, or I think a 13 axle actually, I'm not sure. Not to ask Jeremy. Uh, but here up front, they do all the short work. Another new trailer out there. I think that one's going to Empire. See all the ramp kit, uh, ramp. And they also build custom boxes. Uh, I think they built that headache rack right there, two boxes. And then they'll build side boxes as well. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, there it is. Here's a lockable one. I'll show you the other side. <clears throat> Pretty heavy duty. And they'll move the def tanks inside. So the def tank fill is right there. So you don't see any def tank on the outside because it's in the box. Put a big padlock on it. Steps. So they'll do it right for you. All right, I'll walk around the, uh, the other side and show you some more. I believe there's another new one for Empire. Sure are pretty when they're new. So this is the inside, do more ramp kits on these trucks, instead of head of crack boxes. You all kinds of custom work done here, if you want them to. Here they move this, looks like they moved the fifth wheel up, it's a head of crack. That's what a ramp kit looks like before they paint it. I think it's pretty much done. Gotta paint it. Here's the main shop. This is where they cut everything. See, they're working on a neck. And a deck over there. And a big beam. Tires. All kinds of stuff in here. I won't go in because I don't want to get in their way. Alright, so now we're on the side in two new trailers they just pulled out. This is where people drop off their trailers to get them worked on. So this is Ren's Transport. It's a beam nine axle steerable. This looks like an old Cozad. And then uh, Patterson's got their big dual lane out here. I think it's pretty cool. See what we got going on over here. Some Jeeps and necks. Looks like a 10 wide Coz Ed with a Hydra neck. I bet that thing's heavy. So this is custom made stuff. This isn't obviously, you can't just go down into the store and buy this kind of stuff. This is pretty cool. This, uh, so right now it's, I, th I don't even know how wide it is. I would say 10 or 12 foot wide. And then these expand. And I'm pretty sure it'll open up to two lanes. There's a Murray Airtail. They'll service anything. 
That's a rack layer tail, I'm sorry. They'll service Murray's as well. This trailer's in for service. It's a weight box for one of the trucks up front. And here's a nine axle booster. I think it's a Seabird. Pretty cool weight box. All right, so now we're at the very back. I walked around, I didn't bore you with all that. There's all those trailers. There's just trailer parts that they got laying around. They're making stuff with them, but it's kind of their holding yard. It's pretty cool to watch some of this stuff come together, be built. This is actually how my trailer, they had it laying around. And uh, I think the eight, it was eight months at the time. And they had all, basically all the pieces stuck back here that somebody backed out of and they put it together. Another nine axle steer, this is a deck, nine axle kind of beam. So people just bring stuff back here for service. Just pulled that out, I was watching them. So I figured I'd record it for y'all. And that's how you take a nine axle apart. The Aspen 222. I think they're selling this one. Hydraulic neck. Probably wouldn't be a bad trailer for somebody. Day. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, it's a 2000 model. Looks pretty clean. Sorry, I'm a little runny. My it's been raining. As you can see, it's raining right now. And then here's my trailer. <laughs> There's mine over there. Getting worked on. It's paint booth. Prep. They have a plasma torch in there. The rest of that nine axle. So I'm just kind of walking around showing y'all over here. These guys are probably wondering what's going, why I'm doing this, but. All right, well, I'm gonna let these guys get to work. I'm gonna go find somewhere dry. Just thought I'd give y'all a quick tour. Jeremy's busy, I was talking to him earlier. Uh, Rudy's busy, he, you know, these guys stay pretty busy, so. Some pieces they've been cutting out. I can stand here all day and watch stuff, it's pretty cool.